Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss a couple of key concepts uh, related to data modeling before we go on with the next few chapters. So we will discuss the concept of entity and relationship. So as per Wikipedia, and I copied this uh, definition of Wikipedia, is that things capable of, so what's an entity? An entity is anything which is capable of an independent existence, abstraction from the complexities of a domain. So, so as a thumb rule, let's say, common noun is an entity type. So what could be a common noun? Um, customer is a common noun. Product could be a common noun. So I've got examples here. Uh, so uh, you could have date, you could have product category, you could have, uh, you're looking at other domains, there could be other common nouns. So any common noun, which is uh, in a business scenario, can be used to describe, so customer, so customer buys product from me, from, from an organization. So then you've got this common noun. Product is what you're selling, so that's a common noun. So for example, if you're selling cars, car could be a common noun, and so on and so forth. And what's a prop, so entity is a proper noun. So entity type, so now a uh, proper noun, for example, uh, Novak Djokovic is a tennis player. So a tennis player is a common noun, while Novak Djokovic is an entity, so he's a proper noun. So that's the data you will capture in that entity type. Now relationship is how you define that, uh, how a common noun is related to another common noun. So for example, a customer buys products or the sales of a product are made to a customer. So now you start looking at it, you can start identifying the entities that you could have and what are the relationships that exist. So you could have a relationship, you could have a common entity type. Uh, let's quickly go to Power BI and we'll build a data model. So I've got a couple of entities there and I'll show the concept of common noun will become more clear. We'll discuss proper noun and we'll do a relationship. So let's get out of here quickly. And you can see I've got a dim customer, which is a common noun. Now let's go back to and look at the dim customer table. And you can see the data. So Larry is a proper noun. Jeffrey is a proper noun. Blake is a proper noun. And then we've got the internet, so we are selling uh, products here. So then we are saying the customer and the product are linked through a common entity called uh, sales, maybe. So now we'll just build a quick relationship between the entity table and the sales table. So I've got customer key. You need a common key to join the two tables. So from here, we'll just drop it here. And you can see we've got a relationship defined now. And you can right click and click on properties and it'll show you how the relationship is or which columns are joined. So fact, internet, sales table, customer key is joined to dim customer, customer key table. And now we can quickly start building our reports. So let's say I want to have customer name. So I can have first name. And then I can have, uh, if there's a middle name, I use that. And if there's a last name, I can't seem to find it. I'm sure it exists here. And uh, yep, so we've got the last name. And then we can go to the sales table, close this out, and we can bring the sales amount. Sales amount. So let's just select this. And let me maximize it. And all of a sudden we can start analyzing or slicing and dicing by the customer names. Or maybe we want to uh, slice and dice by some other customer in, uh, attribute. So, um, and we'll talk about customer attributes as well. But in this video, we just wanted to quickly go over um, entities, which is a common noun and uh, the verb, which is the relationship between those two common nouns. So that's all we're trying to uh, cover in this video. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.